Hi, uh, I hope that my advertisement of React uh, was uh, convincing and uh, you have the next question how to start development in React. And uh, it is possible to go over website and uh, build everything uh, by yourself, but uh, I wouldn't recommend this approach. And you, you definitely need some tools. And, uh, and uh, you need some tools and there are some requirements. Uh, uh, you want to have uh, uh, your boiler, boilerplate uh, project which is reloaded on, develop, on the development during the development phase. This is first requirement. Uh, it should be isomorphic. So it should be server side rendering together with cl client side, and also it can be <coughs> it can be easily uh, hosted on the real website. And uh, to the best of my knowledge, there is uh, no uh, there is no out of the box solution. But uh, um, you got lucky, and we did uh, have a list heavy lifting for you and there is a repository uh, it is the address it will be in comments everything is ready and this repository will uh, be untouched and this is uh, in my opinion uh, ready out of the box development uh, a kit which you can start development and also I forgot to mention that you probably <coughs> want to have a relay uh, attach it and everything should work in the development and on server and during the development phase it should be hot model replace it and uh, yeah you got it you got it and uh, uh, for this development kit after you clone it and there is an instructions and uh, in npm install uh, <clears throat> I would like just to explain a couple of tools that we're going to use. Uh, uh, first of all, that we need is Task Runner, and uh, it, it's there are a lot of options, and uh, it's still possible to use Gulp, but in my opinion, <coughs> particularly uh, for uh, React JS application Webpack is a is a best tool uh, so first of all it has uh, a lot of feature uh, that is um, uh, that helps in react development because it was developed initially by the guy <coughs> who used to work for react and probably <coughs> it's peter hunt and uh, <coughs> excuse me and uh, I suggest to uh, choose the pack, uh, and it is one tool, one development modular system. You don't need uh, anything else. Uh, options is possible. It's possible to go with Gulp and um, Browserify, but again, choose this approach. Uh, it is baked in, and uh, as you know, and uh, we will. Uh, explain in details that uh, React uh, for its view it uses uh, JSX and uh, it's our examples uh, okay I will uh, it uses uh, this uh, JSX syntaxes it is uh, I would say uh, very similar to uh, handlebars or similar so you can mix JavaScript and uh, UHTML code it is compiled by JavaScript so you can see that uh, render function just return div and you do not need to uh, wrap it in quotes and when it is compiled it is like normal JavaScript function and uh, for for organization, for uh, your convenience, for development speed, 
definitely JSX is more preferable format. Another way that you can see that uh, in this case on React uh, website they use uh, ES5 syntaxes and uh, it is supported by most of the browsers and this is how your production application uh, should work uh, with. Uh, it should be ES5 but uh, uh, it's much more convenient to switch to ES6 or ES15 syntaxes and uh, you will have uh, a class-like approach and uh, for example If I open this is one of the uh, component and instead of react create class uh, we extend react component you have a constructor you have property for uh, passing when you uh, create a component for passing parameters and uh, uh, you don't need uh, you have this all ES6 uh, uh, advantages in addition uh, mm, in addition you still can use if uh, you use Babel or bubble and uh, you can use ES7 syntaxes with decorators and uh, uh, Svetlana will explain in details uh, uh, how you use it but this approach will provide that uh, possibility out of the box and uh, like I said another uh, another tool that uh, we need for our development it is a transpiler and uh, also a lot of options uh, available but in our case the best is bubble uh, because first of all it can transpile your ES6 to ES5 which is supported by uh, uh, most of the browsers and it also uh, transpile your ES6 code to uh, JavaScript because uh, uh, despite the fact that you develop in uh, GSX, GSX uh, you still need to have JavaScript to work in it. It is in production. And uh, finally we need the relay and uh, our uh, recommendation about task runner and about uh, uh, compiler you had options uh, you uh, it was uh, explicitly the better choice that one with relay uh, it adds some kind uh, so first of all what is this a relay a relay it is uh, in intermediate framework between your database and the uh, application and it's better to uh, show an example on our previous okay on our previous uh, project I had a data problem which can be very effectively uh, solved by a relay uh, this is uh, this is a real estate website and uh, we have a list of uh, uh, properties uh, houses and uh, problem number one uh, each house belongs to agent who handled this house and when you make a query to the database on 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 the same uh, on the house you always want to uh, have an agent an agent this is another item and uh, if you have uh, and this is probably uh, very common data needs when you have uh, 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 database uh, normalize it uh, to different tables and then you need either to join them or denormalize so it a lot of redundant information that you save this is a uh, problem number one and the problem number two which probably uh, more serious uh, 
During this request, initial request, I requested information about uh, uh, all houses. And then when I click, when I click on each individual house, what are you doing? You are querying database again uh, with full information about house. But if you uh, take a look, you can see that uh, you uh, you generate a lot of redundant requests because during this initial request uh, you have price, you have address, you have type, you have MLS and you have uh, probably 30% and you have the first image. So you have 30% of your information already exists and when you query it again, uh, when you uh, change the page, it's not efficient and uh, to handle to handle uh, this problem manually uh, well it's not practical so uh, despite the fact that relay is uh, uh, a little bit uh, challenging and it became uh, open source like uh, three weeks ago and uh, setting it up it so it's not easy but uh, we will help you in this and we suggest that you invest your time and uh, mental power to uh, have this uh, technology in your development at, at your disposal and it will be paid back uh, so this is a tool that we are going to use and definitely uh, you want to have uh, your development okay okay and this is our uh, website and uh, we uh, it is very simple website without uh, any extra library and uh, it was on purpose and uh, additional advantage of having your build uh, flow immediately that you can avoid a mistake that we made uh, during our angular development when when you have some kind of need you import third-party application and because you doesn't have uh, setting up completely your build you cannot measure how much uh, uh, how many kilobytes it weights how uh, uh, what the price you're going to pay for having this uh, library included and then in the end you have wonderful design but when you build Jesus, it's nine megabyte of mega uh, mini five core. With this approach, once you import any library, you open and you measure. For example, if you want to build to production, and all the shortcuts is will be under the video. Uh, use it with after hotkey. So we also offer you a great um, shortcut and uh, you go to public and you measure that your app is waiting for 395 and if if you are uh, install any library you can measure how uh, uh, heavy it is uh, and uh, let me this is our application now let me go to app and let me change for example uh, title so we on home okay run best practices and I put here exclamation mark in the end And uh, you can see that it immediately reloads and it's very fast. And uh, additional advantage uh, uh, working with a hot React Hot Reloader 
uh, uh, by Webpack development server um, compared to uh, a browser sync that it uh, it has this built in memory so it, it's much more uh, uh, faster this is your development uh, uh, requirements and uh, they are all met but you also wanted to uh, deploy to any server and work and uh, it I spent two days setting everything up but you have everything ready so uh, you probably will have some kind of node server and we choose Amazon and uh, after you <coughs> upload everything on server you can run it uh, also with forever and uh, yes yes I forgot a specific it's uh, RST if you want to restart it application and RSS if you want to start if you started the first time but uh, when you commit and uh, when you pull your changes on your server you need to build it so uh, I need to give uh, super user privileges and uh, give me it. Mm -hmm. uh, I and the RB, sorry. Okay. It starts building and this? Can I find it? Uh -huh. okay. uh, I install it uh, additional uh, additional uh, plugin for and this is for development cycle but uh, I need to install it with NPMI. Uh, okay, I don't want to uh, uh, to uh, install it during the tutorial. Everything is ready, and uh, I can prove it with proof that uh, Chicago Web App, and uh, it is our application, and uh, it is out of the box. It is rendered on the side, and uh, like I. Uh, uh, underlined in my previous tutorial that the main advantage that you don't need to do anything you take your website you go to Facebook you share and uh, okay, let's go to go tools yes and uh, voila and you have server-side application and uh, if you open it this is how it uh, uh, looks like but it has data so it, it you are SEO uh, search engine optimization you optimize it <laughs> that was, that was uh, I wanted to say uh, so thank you very much and uh, uh, this uh, and this is uh, uh, works uh, uh, root for uh, endpoint for uh, GraphQL. This is a language with which we are relay. You will uh, generate your uh, request. And uh, thank you very much. And uh, if you have any questions, let us know and we will try to answer as fast as possible. Thank you. Bye.